Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. It's Emily, and today I have a bit of a different video for you all. Now, to say that Amanda and I do not have the biggest following on the internet would be a gross understatement. However, that does not mean that we are not immune to companies reaching out to us to peddle their wares, so to speak. I'm sure that there are plenty of you out there who use Instagram that are familiar with this, like a bot will DM you looking to partner with you in exchange for, for your cheap merchandise. It's pretty common on Instagram. And Amanda's and my shared Instagram account actually receives its fair share of bot messages and usually we just delete them. However, when a company called Smooth My Balls reached out to our public Instagram account, which is clearly run by two young women, we were intrigued. So we responded to their solicitation and thus began our scrotum smoothing journey down the path of selling out in the name of a ridiculous bit. Now, Smooth My Balls reached out to us in May of 2021, May of this year, and even set us up with promo codes and a link to a site so that we can sell their product. Uh, however, due to circumstances beyond both of our control, Amanda and I just never got around to making a video about this ball trimming company. So we decided, well, we haven't gotten around to it yet. What's a better time than Christmas than to promote an absurd product that we should maybe be making money on? So we checked back in with our old patrons and it looks like the company went under. So to backtrack a little bit, when a company reaches out to you to look for sort of mutual promotion opportunities, you don't always get the product for free. I paid for this thing. But since the company went down and went under, the promo code that they gave us no longer works. So I, as a single woman with a cat, spent $65 on a ball trimmer that has just been sitting in my studio apartment for seven months now. And I know for a fact I will never get any of that cash back. However, I had written a script and I had saved all the materials they had sent me. And if I had to listen to this obnoxious, misogynistic concoction of cringe that they had sent my way in order to encourage me to promote this product, my God, the rest of the world has to listen to it too. So here it is. This is the Turf Chopper 3.0. And here are the materials they sent me to help encourage me to promote this thing. Incredulous though I was, imagine my delight and surprise when I received an email from smoothmyballs.com with the subject line, you are what makes us great. I was actually excited. All jokes aside, maybe this was a company and a partnership that we could actually take seriously. I opened my email and write in big bold letters at the top it reads, Emily, you are so awesome. Oh, thank you, Smooth My Balls. Let's read what the rest of the email has to say. Hi, Emily. Dave, the new intern, was in the middle of making his balls smooth as a whistle when suddenly he ran out of the shower, bollock naked, windmilling his private parts, shouting, We made it! Emily has just made an order. As sexy an image as this put into my head, I couldn't help but question why in the world an office space had a shower right in the middle of its cubicles. But I digress. Let's keep reading. Jeff was almost blown off his seat by the force of Dave windmilling his chopper. Dave has only gone and shaved a landing strip in his pubic hair, waiting for his chopper to land. Jeff's shouting to Dave, LAND THE CHOPPER! in his best Terminator voice. Actually, that's a Predator reference, but if it's all Schwarzenegger, it's all good, though, right? No need to be nitpicky. <laughs> uh... The entire workforce erupts cheering. We are the champions blasting out the speakers. Tommy is a big Queen fan. While tennis balls are being dropped from the ceiling like confetti and bottles of beer being popped across the room. At this moment in time, Dave swinging his chopper at the bottle caps like he's Tiger Woods. Now, I don't know what men fantasize about when they picture office spaces, but I never would have guessed that it would be the, their naked intern from college swinging his dick around in the middle of the cubicles while tennis balls are landing on top of them from the ceiling, and frankly, the intern swatting at bottle caps with his penis just sounds painful. The whole Smooth My Balls team are thrilled that you are a customer. 
Thank you so much for your support and giving us a reason to cheer and make 2021 the year of smooth balls. As thrilling an introduction to this company this email was, it was certainly not my last correspondence with them. Following this initial correspondence, I received a secondary link, this time to a video. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to have smooth balls. Okay, so first of all, we have the antiquated trend of, you know, somebody narrating over somebody else drawing things out on a whiteboard, so we still have that going on. Also, why did they decide to have just a bad Tony Montana impersonator as a narrator? I, I, I don't know, but that was the decision they made. So you might be wondering, why the smooth balls? Well, how do I get smooth balls? Ah, pitching to the 21st century man. One who's so manly, he doesn't even know about hair removal. SmoothMyBalls.com has perfect solutions to all your problems. Everybody likes a woman who is clean down there. You know what I'm saying? Nope. No, I do not. Okay, first of all, nobody should be dictating to anybody else what their body hair should look like. Second of all, <laughs> this is like, okay, if you have balls and you're buying this product, clearly you're only attracted to women. So if you are somebody with balls and you're attracted to people who also have balls, you have no opinion on what balls should look like. <laughs> you wouldn't have eat at a restaurant if you found a hair in your food. Ah yes, the one thing in nature reminiscent of a vagina, an oyster. A slimy, salty mollusk encased in a crusty hard shell. Using your face trimmer on your cojones is for the cockroaches. Bah. You ever look in the mirror and think, what a mess, I deserve more. This world should be mine. Maybe I should clean up this mess to make my balls feel like they are in paradise. But do you ever wish that you had a tool to grab life by the balls so then the world becomes yours? Say hello to my little friend. All right, Scarface, we fucking get it, okay? Introducing the turf chopper. Introducing? Uh, so this is the 3.0. What happened to 1 and 2? Designed using no script technology to reduce the chances of cutting your nutsack. Let it glide seamlessly over those bad boys so you can bury those cockroaches. Okay, Scarface, we get it. Enough with the Scarface references. Also, why is this making me think of a man with cockroaches in his junk? I don't want to think about that. We need guys with steel in their balls. Guys like Joe. You gotta make the money first. Then when you get the money, you get the power. Then when you get the power and the smooth balls, you'll get the women. Alright, I know that that's a quote from the movie, but again, it's like... <laughs> you can only like women or no smooth balls for you! I mean, I'm, I'm clearly the kind of woman that men at this company would be going for. I mean, can you not feel the sex appeal emanating <laughs> from my anime shirt. I love you, Dazai. We will choose the best review and send them a PlayStation 5 completely free. <laughs> what is the pube muncher? I am sure you have had this problem before. How do I clean up all this remaining messy hair left in the sink with ease? Okay, you just talked about a PS5. I don't care about your fucking pube muncher. Also, why did the racist narrator just randomly turn French instead of Cuban? Also, are men really shaving their balls over the bathroom sink? How does that even work logistically? Smooth My Balls recently introduced a pube muncher, a small and very portable device ideal for home and travel usage that has enough suction power to unemploy the longest lasting profession. The only thing in this whole world that gives orders, that gives orders is balls. You got that? Smooth, big balls. I got balls. And as long as I do, they will stay clean and intact. Yeah, so that's basically the video that they sent us. Uh, after, Other than that, it's really just instructions on how to, you know, get your promo code set up and everything. And it's... But it, so yeah, that's my commentary on the company itself, I guess. Uh, as you can see, even if we had 
put this promotion up in time or this video up in time, we probably were never ever going to get any of our money back. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's actually kind of a shame because I took a look at this with a friend of mine and he's actually confirmed it's not a bad ball trimmer. <laughs> It really isn't, is the thing. Like, yeah, I've just been sitting with this, with this ball trimmer in my house <laughs> since May of 2021, and it's gone unused. So yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this thing now that I finally made this goddamn video. I, I guess if any of my friends watching this are in the market for a ball trimmer, reach out. But that's it. That's finally my review on the Smooth My Balls company and this uh, Turf Chopper 3.0. I'm never going to get the PlayStation 5. I, 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 I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with this thing.